Starting a business is no small feat. It requires a significant amount of effort, patience, and a solid understanding of how businesses work. However, starting a successful business requires even more. A well-thought-out strategy, a detailed business plan, an ample capital or just some of the necessary elements. Despite these preparations, some businesses still fail. This can be due to several rookie mistakes made by new entrepreneurs. This video is here to change that by highlighting 15 things to watch out for when starting a new business. Number 1. Not knowing your potential customers. Before starting a business, it's important to conduct extensive market research. This will help you understand who your potential customers are, what their interests are, and where you can find them. This information will then shape your marketing strategy. For example, if your target market is Generation Z, then investing in social media marketing would make sense, as this demographic spends a significant amount of time on social media. If your target market is an older generation, then a different medium, such as TV or radio, would be more appropriate. Number 2. Not knowing your competitors. Market research will also help you identify your competitors, what they offer, their pricing, and their marketing strategy. This information can then guide your own pricing and give you a better understanding of the market. Knowing your competition is important because it can help you determine if they pose a threat or if they can be disregarded. Not taking the time to understand your competition can leave you and your business vulnerable. Number 3. Winging it. More and more people are starting their own businesses, with some doing so for a secondary source of income and others quitting their full-time jobs to focus solely on their business. It's common for those in the first group to not fully understand the intricacies of running a business, thinking it's simply a matter of making a product and selling it to customers. However, this is not the case. Running a business involves much more than buying and selling, and cannot be done on a whim. Without proper planning, strategy, and understanding of the market, you risk losing money and ultimately killing your business. Number 4. Poor Money Management. Money is the lifeline of your business, so if you manage it poorly, your business is destined for a tragic end. Understanding your finances is one of the most important ways to keep your business afloat. If you have no idea how much you're spending and how much you're bringing in, it's time to bring in a professional. If your business is still in its early stages and you can't afford employees, you can use a professional accounting software to help you track your finances. But if you ignore your finances, it's likely that you're killing your business. Number 5. Short Runway Cash. No matter what type of business you have, it can't run on thin air. You need a certain amount of disposable cash to get things running, whether it's a low amount if you're bootstrapping your business or a higher amount if you're bringing in outside funding. Runway cash refers to how much time you can afford to lose money until your business takes off. The longer the runway, or in other words, the more months of cash you have, the more time you have to adjust and adapt. Ignoring this concept means not giving your business enough breathing room to pick up speed, leading to eventual failure, even if your idea is good. Number 6. Not properly tracking your cash flow. If all you do is pay bills and deposit the rest into a bank account, you're doing yourself and your business a disservice. To grow your business, you need to know how much money is coming in and going out. Understanding your cash flow goes beyond just knowing the amount. It also helps you see if you're making a profit or experiencing a loss, and it can also reveal the effectiveness of your marketing strategy. You don't need to hire an accountant right away to sort out your cash flow records. A simple Excel spreadsheet can be used to create a comprehensive report. Number 7. Not knowing what makes you unique. Every business is unique, but if you don't know what makes you different, you risk blending in with the crowd. To build a successful business, you need to create something that sets you apart from the competition. Some of the biggest organizations in the world, like Google, Amazon, and Rolex, understand their target market and have formed their uniqueness around it. As a result, they're worth billions of dollars and sell in virtually every country around the world. Number 8. Lacking a business strategy. What are the chances of a business surviving without a business strategy? Well, if we're being honest, the answer would have to be zero. A business strategy defines your business. It outlines your marketing strategy, competitor research, potential customer profile, pricing, brand identity, business location, and the demographic of your customers. When your business lacks a strategy, it suggests that you have no idea how the business is going to work, which is a recipe for disaster. Number 9. Complacency. What do you think is the greatest threat to success? Is it failure? Of course not. It's actually our previous successes. Previous successes have a way of making us think that we've got everything figured out, 
so we don't always look for our previous mistakes or try to improve our efforts. Unfortunately, it gets even worse when this previous success gets into our heads, creating the illusion that we did just fine and that there really isn't a need for improvement. Perhaps you had a pretty successful business while in college, but you need to remember that every business is unique and has its own challenges, requiring a new set of skills. Number 10. Offering free services to friends and family. If you want to ensure the success of your business, you might have to say no to your friends and family when they ask for free stuff. A business is not a charity, so business owners must always stand firm against providing free goods or services, as it will lead to a loss. If you have to offer your friends and family something, offer a discount instead. Number 11. Allowing your love for a strategy to blind you. Most entrepreneurs have a strategy in mind before starting their business, and this strategy can become an obsession. When the business kicks off, they immediately adopt this strategy, hoping for success. However, if this strategy fails, many entrepreneurs continue trying due to their love for the idea, even when it isn't working. For a business to thrive, an entrepreneur must be flexible and know when to change or improve an idea or strategy, or adopt something entirely different. Number 12. Hiring too quickly. Now, here's the problem with hiring too quickly. You'll end up with individuals who don't understand your business's vision or who are simply looking for a temporary job. Having temporary workers is one of the worst things that can distract a business owner in the early stages of a business. No matter how difficult it might be, take the time to hire the right individuals, even if it means you have to do a number of things by yourself. It's better to hire the right person, even if it takes a longer time, than to hire individuals who aren't the right fit for your business. Number 13. Poor Marketing. The co-founder of HubSpot once said, it doesn't matter what you sell, but how you sell it. Marketing determines how your potential clients will see your product, and if your marketing tactic involves a positive feeling in them, well, you might just win yourself a new customer. Marketing comes in different forms, it could be word of mouth, social media marketing, the use of newspapers, or even ads on TV. However, your marketing strategy or channel should be defined by who your potential customers are. If you're marketing to a younger demographic, like we said earlier, you should be heavily investing in social media marketing. For an older customer base, it would be safer to stick with newspapers, television, and even the good old-fashioned radio. Number 14. Poor or non-existent customer service. Would you still support a business if you weren't treated well? Definitely not. Most customers naturally want to be treated with respect, honesty, and fairness when they speak with a business. They also want to have their problems solved as quickly as possible. If you don't want your business to suffer an early demise, then you've got to create an efficient customer feedback system. Make sure you respond to queries, questions, complaints, or inquiries within 24 hours, while also making sure that all customers are treated respectfully and professionally, regardless of the circumstances surrounding the situation. Number 15. Not setting up a business bank account. It's quite easy to fall into the trap of thinking, I don't need a business bank account for my business, my personal bank account will work just fine. Well, we hate to break it to you, but it isn't going to work out just fine. Aside from the fact that this will make it incredibly difficult to monitor your cash flow, you might also make the mistake of spending your business's money. So, to avoid stories of bankruptcy and crashing a business, open up your business bank account today. And there you have it, 15 mistakes that could kill your business in its early stages. But remember, we didn't identify any of these mistakes to demotivate you. They're in fact meant to make your business endeavor more likely to succeed. And if you watched the video up until this point, thanks for spending some time with us today. We're so glad you did. If you found value in today's video, please give us a like, hit the bell icon to never miss an upload, and don't forget to subscribe.